Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. So in this tutorial, what we'll be covering, what will we blah blah, what we will be going over through is a topic that's been requested by a lot of my students. You know who you are, which is how to remember um, the sine, cosine, and tan for the different angles that you have. So in the exams that you guys are going to do, you the examiners or the paper that you're going to do these. You know, for sine zero, these angles that you're looking at, these questions will come in a non-calculator paper. So what I mean by this is you need to remember the values for the angle 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90, as you can see in this table, for sine, cos, and tan. And this will be in a non-calculator question, which means you can't use a calculator to find out, okay, what is cos 45 or cos 90. And this is what I'm going to go through. Now, there's two methods of doing this. One... Uh, which is using a triangle kind of method, but I think that's a bit too long and I think you guys will be a bit bored by looking at that and it's just going to be too long. So this method is just a quick kind of table method and it's just a quick way of you guys to kind of visualize and memorize uh, how to get the, the values for these angles. So um, yeah, um, if, if, you, if you have any questions after this, you know, just put it down in the comments and I'll help you guys out. And if you find this video helpful, uh, please give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. So what I'm going to do first, right? As you can see, uh, by the way, you don't have to have sine, cos, tan here. You can have sine, cos, tan here. It doesn't matter, right? So we have 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. And what I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to start first with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to put these numbers, okay? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each of these numbers by 4, okay? every single of these numbers by 4. So I'm going to do 0 divided by 4, and we know that 0 divided by anything is just going to be 0. And then 1 divided by 0, which is going to be, not oh, sorry, not 1 divided by 0, 1 divided by 4, which is just going to be a quarter. And then 2 divided by 4, if we were to simplify 2 over 4, it's going to give us half, okay? So that's going to give us half. And then 3 divided by 4, which is just 3 quarters. And then 4 divided by 4, which is equals to 1. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. What I'm, going to, what I'm starting with is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then dividing every single number by 4. Okay? The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to square root all of these numbers that we found. So I'm going to do square root of 0, which is just going to be 0. So what I can write here... Let me write this in green so you know the answer is just going to be 0. So sine 0 is 0. And then if we're going to do this 1 over 4, so what I mean if we, when, we, when I say do the square root, we're going to do the square root of 1 over 4. Okay, so the whole thing. And what that basically means is you're doing square root of 1, which is just 1. And then what is the square root of 4? Which is 2. So your answer is going to be half. Now, if you don't understand what I've just done here, let me just show you on the side quickly what I mean by this. So when I say square root 1 over 4, what I'm essentially saying is square root 1 over square root 4. And then square root 1 is just going to be 1. Square root 4, oh, sorry, square root 1 is just going to be 1. Yeah, that's right. And then square root 4 is just going to be 2, hence half. Does that make sense? That's how I'm doing it, basically. Yeah, and then basically in here now what we have is half, so we're going to do square root of half, right? And then square root of one is just going to be one. So, whoops, that should not have come up here. So, square root of one is just going to be one over square root of two, you just leave it as square root two. And again, like this, three over four, we're going to do the square root of three over four, so it's going to be three over four. And then we're going to do square root the whole thing. And just like how we've done here, we're going to square root the individual numbers. So square root of 3 is just going to be square root 3. And then square root 4 is just going to be 2, because square root 4 is 2. And that's your answer for this one. And then in this one, what we have here is square root of 1. So square root of 1 is basically just 1. So if I write square root 1, the answer for that is just going to be one okay so you can see and by the way the green the green um, writing is the answer for sine zero so sine zero is zero sine 30 is half sine 45 is one over root two sine 60 is root three over two and then sine 90 is one okay and this is just the method now for cos you guys are probably going to be thinking oh we're going to be doing something again like this again and writing all of this no cos is very simple all you're going to do in cos is you see what you have for sine 
you're going to basically write what you have for sine in reverse order. So what I mean by this is look at your sine at the last uh, sine 90. So that one is now going to come here. This root 3 over 2 is going to come here. And then this 1 over root 2 is just going to be staying the same here. And then this half is going to come here. And then this 0 is going to come here. Do you guys see that? I'm basically rewriting sine in reverse order from the first one, right? So here it, we were going in 0, half, etc, etc. Now I'm going to start from 1, root 3 over 2, 1 over root 2, half, 0. But I'm going to write it for cos. That's literally it for cos. That is it. Now for tan, okay, I'm going to show you the method for tan for those who are interested in this. Um, so for tan, if I can, okay, we can show it here. Okay, now I don't know if people know this, but for tan, basically tan, there's an identity for tan. Where you don't, by the way, you, you guys don't need to know this, yeah? I'm just showing you. Tan theta is basically sine theta over cos theta. So if I want to get my value for tan, I need to do sine divided by cos, okay? So I'm dividing the value for sine by cos. So if I do 0 divided by 1, that's just going to give me 0. So that is tan 0 is just 0. Right now, if we're going to do sine, which is half divided by root 3 over 2. Now, if you want me to show you how to do that, so the answer for that is just going to be first 1 over root 3. Okay. But if, for example, you can't memorize it, you don't know, you know, you're, you don't you don't have good memory and you want to know how to do this, right? So what you essentially be doing how you're going to do this is basically I'll show it to you here. So we're going to do half divided by root 3 over 2. Okay, so how that works is we're going to do half divided by root 3 over 2 to get our tan. And remember, division means times, isn't it? So we're going to do times. You flip it 2 over root 3. You can divide this by 2. You can divide this by 2. And I'm left with 1 times 1, which is 1. And then 1 times root 3 is root 3. There you go. That's how I get my answer. So that's the method behind how we divide. Okay. And then we do the same thing for the other ones. So for this one, for tan 45, what we're going to do is 1 over root 2 divided by 1 over root 2. And that's just going to be 1. It will cancel out. And then for tan 60, we're going to do root 3 over 2 divided by half, which is just going to give us root 3. And then when we do for tan 90, I don't think they will ask you this in the exam, but what you're doing is 1 divided by 0. 1 divided by 0 is just going to be infinity. Okay, and I don't think you need to worry too much about that. But that's pretty much how you do this uh, for sine, cos, and tan, and for your angle 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. So these are, you need to know these values. Okay, uh, it's very important um, because, again, these will come in a non calculator paper. And if you don't know the values, you can't really solve the question itself yeah so uh, if there's any doubts that you have just put it down in the comments and i will reply back to you but yeah uh that's pretty much it that's uh i don't know what they, i think they call it now trigonometric ratio table or something so not quite sure but that's pretty much um this is the table really okay so that's a wrap for this video and i shall see you on the next one